everyone. It's your girl, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Today, I'm going to make an old-fashioned hamburger steak with onion gravy. It is a recipe that's been around for years, and I know that your mother or grandmother have made this recipe for a great sunny dinner. It goes well with rice, potatoes, or any vegetables. And I want to share this recipe with you for old time's sake. With no delays, let's get to it. All right, we got our ingredients together. This is a pound of ground beef. And I'm going to break this up a little so I can get those other ingredients in it. So that's good enough. And we're going to add one egg. The bread crumbs. This is one third cup. Black pepper. It's a half a teaspoon. Salt. One teaspoon or less, depending on how you want it. So I don't like too much salt, so I'm just going to lay off of it. <laughs> and onion powder. We want a half a teaspoon. And you're going to use one clove of garlic mince. Or if you don't have that, you can use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You know that it's a great substitute. And we're going to use one teaspoon A Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. You know how sometimes I get tired tongue with saying that. <laughs> and we're going to mix this well together. And what's better than your hands? But you know, you got to put these gloves on. So this is good and we're going to make our patties. So depending on how big you want it, you may do it in fourths. So this is ready. The patties are ready to go in the skillet. Alright, with your heat on medium high or medium, I'm going to have mine some medium high. We're going to add a tablespoon of oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. Oil that you usually cook with, fry with. It would be good. And I'm going to put my patties in. And while your patties are frying, you can go ahead and make your roux. So I will go to that next step while these patties are cooking. Okay, for your new cooks out there, the way to make a roux, all you need is flour and water. So this is like two tablespoons of flour. And what I would do, I put it in the bowl. And you want to stir a little bit at a time because to keep it from clumping, just pour a little water in and stir as you go. This will make it what people used to do to make it a thickening. Some people use cornstarch, but my mom used to make this to thicken it up um, in a gravy. And she also made a roux when she made like um, peas or butter beans, she cooked them and she wanted to make it a thickening. She used that. So, you can use cornstarch, but you know we're doing it the old-fashioned way. And you want to stir, keep stirring, until you get those lumps out. And if you do have any lumps in it, it's still okay, because you can just thin it down. And you're going to pour this in when you get ready to make your gravy. Okay, we're going to check on our patties. And I'm going to flip it over. 
You see how that brown looks? It is on the bottom. That's what you're looking for. All right, I turned the heat off of these patties and they're ready. This is how brown you want it to get. Brown on both sides. You're gonna remove these from your skillet because we're gonna get ready to start on the gravy. And if you have, depending on what kind of um, ground beef you use, um, you may have quite a bit of oil. And so I'm going to pour some of this grease out. But uh, you want to make sure you just pour the oil out and make sure your little brown pieces stay in the skillet. All right, I'm going to turn my heat back on. This is how much oil I had left in the skillet. Just a little. If you got more than that, it's okay. Some people don't pour theirs off, but I do. But it is up to you. I got my heat on medium, and we want that skillet to get a little bit back hot because we're getting ready to make this gravy. So that roux we got set aside, we'll stir this again. And you can make this gravy using um, beef broth or water. And we're gonna stir this around. And as it being stirred around, we wanna add some of this, add the beef broth. Cause it's gonna clump up some but we'll just stir it. And that's just one cup of water, one cup of beef broth. And sometimes you can make it thinner. But you see how this clumping up? This is going to cook down. You can press this down, but it's going to cook down. And I'm going to turn my heat up to a medium high. It don't look like it's going to come out it, well how they gonna come out right they all that clumped up but believe me once this stuff get to cooking it will dissolve down we gonna add in our onions our sliced onions you can chop them and I slice these thin and you're gonna add you some salt I use a half a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon of pepper. You can add any kind of season you want, but this is like the old recipe, old school. Back then, they used what they had, and they didn't use a whole lot, but it came out good. And one good thing about gravy, you can make it as thick as you want, and you can make it as thin as you want, and you can make as much as you want. But... I am probably going to add in more broth and more roux. Alright, I got my beef broth and I'm going to add a little bit in. Got some more. And I'm gonna, this time I made this roux a little bit more watery. You don't have to make it real thick so it can just pour in good with the gravy. Just pour a little at a time. Depending on how thick you want it. Pour a little bit and stir. Add some more broth or water. And also as you cook in the patties, if you add the patties in there, you can still thicken it up or thin it up while the patties are in there. Now we're going to add the patties back. I would ask we say our hamburger steak back into the gravy. And what you want to do as it's cooking in there, you want to just get that gravy and start pouring it, covering the the hamburger steaks. And I'm gonna turn this down to low. Anywhere between medium and low, but you want it to a simmer, just let it simmer. And you can cover it and let it continue to simmer. And make sure you just stir it and come and check on it and see how thick it is or thin it is. Like I said, you can add more to it. 
and we're gonna let this simmer in for between 15 to 20 minutes all right these hamburger steaks are done and I want you to look at them get gravy see how delicious that look you want that flavor to be just like that that color and to be thick and just for to let you know if you're going to use the beef broth do not add any salt to your gravy when you get ready to make that gravy up because I don't like a lot of salt some people do but um, if you're a person that don't like a lot of salt don't add any salt if you're using beef broth but if you're going to use water then that's when you need to add your salt so I did go had to go back and I added more water to my gravy and I did a little bit more roux to bring that salt content down in my gravy. So that was just a little tip. All right, let's plate up some of this delicious hamburger steak with this onion gravy. And I did make some rice to go with mine. And if you like to have a recipe for some perfect rice every single time, Go check out one of my videos that I already had. This is some good rice. You can't go wrong. So we're going to put up some rice in the plate. Just let, let you look and see how this rice is. Mm. This is delicious. You have got to try this. You will love it. I just can't wait to get a chance to eat some of that old fashioned hamburger steak onion with gravy. And I made some rice with mine. And if you like to have this recipe, just look down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And anytime that I might stream live or upload a video, just hit that notification bell. And as always, have a blessed and wonderful day. This is your girl, Felicia. Bye.